Hey, yo, 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 it is Kieran, and uh, yeah, I got myself another video for you, and this video is about the fact that women don't want to be your equal, not if they want to be in a relationship with you, it is just the way it is. Society at large would have you believe that women want to meet a man who they're on a level footing with, who earns the same amount of money as them, is as physically strong as them, has the same status as them in society, da 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 da. It's actually kind of not the way it goes. Essentially, it's kind of like this. You ever notice how, like, men will often date women who are younger and women will often date men who are older? Well, that right there emphasizes or it epitomizes, it showcases something in society, which is literally the fact that men date down and across, but largely down. Women date up and across, but largely up. So if you meet a woman and she thinks you guys are on about the same level, the odds of her being attracted to you they drop massively, massively. Let me give you an example. Like just from your own perspective, right? Did you ever notice when you were at school or college or maybe in your real life now that the women who actively pursue you are always the ones that you don't want at all? You ever noticed that? Because I noticed that loads when I was at school loads there'd be girls that i'd like and i'd look at her from a distance and be like oh my god i really like her yeah and there were girls who liked me but it was never the girls that i liked and you know why it's because the girls who liked me saw me as above them and the girls that i liked they didn't see me as above them that's kind of the way that this stuff goes and here's another example have you ever met a woman who says if you're not this height you don't get to jump on this ride. Have you ever noticed how women are be like, I am five foot five, you need to be at least 5'10 or 5'11 to be with me. Why is that? Why is it so important to her that a man be taller than her? Because she wants to feel protected and she wants to feel small and she wants to feel like he's the man and he's in charge. But this is, this is the thing. So like people would get annoyed at me for saying this, like, oh my God, this is some on PC stuff, but it's really not. That's why women like a man who's taller, because when a man is taller, it makes her think he's bigger and stronger than her. Of course, any man worth his salt knows that if two men fight, one is six foot and one is five five, the five five guy could quite possibly destroy the six foot guy. Men know that, but women don't really think in those sorts of terms. That's it. So they expect that even though they're going to artificially, artificially augment their height wearing heels, that you should still be taller than them with the artificial augmentation. How many times have you heard of a, a scenario where a man loses his job and then his wife, his girlfriend loses interest in him? Happens kind of frequently. For instance, I remember reading on Reddit once where there was a woman who says, look, my husband was a very successful doctor who earns hundreds of thousands of dollars per year but he lost his job and he's got another job but it doesn't pay half of what his old job paid i'm thinking of leaving him because i know my worth now why did she think about leaving her husband because now his value has dropped he doesn't seem better than her than her anymore you know Women want you to be physically stronger than them. They want you to be funnier than them. They want you to be more charismatic than them. They want you to be more knowledgeable about them, which is why they will say things like, hey, if you can teach me about X, Y, and Z, that's great. I'm new in town. Will you please show me around? <clears throat> There's like tons and tons of examples. A woman will get a promotion. <clears throat> She'll get a job promotion and her husband doesn't. And at first it's kind of cool, but she starts to lose respect for him because she's now higher than him on the totem pole. It's just kind of the way it is and it's just something you need to know. And the truth is that 
a mistake we make as guys is by believing that it's meant to be like completely level you know <clears throat> so you say me when i was younger i would meet a girl and be like well if she wants me to do x y and z touch her kiss her fondle her ask for a phone number ask for a date whatever she's going to say it because she is as good as me she's as strong as me she's as whatever and she has her own agency oh and by the way i don't think women are inherently worse than men no but women are attracted to men that they believe are better than them yes but um yeah it never happened man. It never happened you know why it didn't happen because they want to be led you know she wants you to lead her so she wants you to take her through an experience let's take right megan markle she married prince harry like two years ago three years ago whatever now what happened when she married prince harry what happened when kate whatever married prince william they both left their regular lives to become a part of the royal family and that is like a that's kind of the way it works the prince married down and married a commoner you never get princesses marrying commoners it's probably happened once or twice but we both know that's kind of not really the way it goes right if you have male pop stars like rappers rock stars whatever rappers sleep with groupies rock stars sleep with groupies you know why rappers and rock stars sleep with groupies because even though those groupies aren't famous they're still physically attractive to the rappers you don't really get female pop stars sleeping with male fans do you female pop stars for the most part just tend to sleep with other pop stars you know why because a man who's just a fan isn't sexually attractive to a female pop star the way that a groupie is to 50 cent kind of the way it is there we go and uh if i was to give you some actionable 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 advice would be this you need to know your worth and know your value okay at the very least don't treat any woman like she's better than you mm -mm. now am i telling you to be mean to them or to disrespect them hell to the no no i am not so anybody who's trying to do research on game global to take us down that is not what i said but you definitely don't want to be acting like they're better than you. You definitely don't want to be acting like you believe you're lucky to be with them. That is a societal myth that people find that attractive. Like, I was broken until I met you and now you complete me. No, 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 no. You are not broken. You are fine. You are whole. You are complete and you do not need this woman in your life if she is there and she deserves to be there she will be a nice accompaniment to said life but you don't need her in the least you're a man you're doing your own thing you got your shit going on etc that's pretty much the mindset that you want to have with regards to all of this stuff Now, the question on everybody's lips is, does Kieran have anything more to add to this topic? Kieran does not believe that Kieran has anything more to add to this topic. So, yeah, you got value. You do. You have inherent, intrinsic value. And when you're speaking to women, be aware of this value. Men date across and down. Women date across and up. Okay? that's the way it goes i have spoken to female friends who have spoken about the idea of dating a man who's on their level as though it's a step down it's like yeah i've been thinking lately about maybe dating someone who's on my level and it's like just the way the way that i said it, it's like yeah i mean i i, I guess i could do that 
say it goes on my level. It's like they, they don't want to do it. They don't. So raise your level as high as is freaking possible. Okay? Level yourself up. If you're watching this video, you want to attract more women. Level yourself up. Instead of leveling up your World of Warcraft character or your League of Legends, whatever. Or oh God, I'm, I'm, I'm so out of touch with these games, you know. You get the point, yeah? Instead of like leveling up your RPG character or your action RPG character or whatever, level up you. 